I went to a celebrity hair and makeup salon in Korea and in Korean, we actually call this shop. And I asked to do a makeup and hairstyle that I've never done before. And you guys, this salon has literally changed the way that I do makeup because the whole trend of how you apply makeup seems to have changed in Korea. I have not been to a celebrity shop in literally three years since pre-pandemic. And this time I paid full for it out of my pocket. So this is going to be an honest review and while I'm drinking my wine. And at the end, I'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate these looks at home because it is possible and there's new types of makeup that are out based on the trend. So the shop that I went to is called The J. I've never been here before, but it is located in Cheongdam, which a lot of celebrity shops are located in Cheongdam because that is kind of like the route to the broadcasting stations. Apparently this shop is famous for stray kids. Stray kids go to the shop. There's also a bunch of actors, actresses, different singers that go to the shop. Immediately when I walked into The J, this place was really fancy, um, which is kind of like that in a lot of celebrity shops the interior is usually really nice obviously you get your makeup done first and as you walk in there is literally like hundreds of makeup laying in the table and surprising there were a lot of korean brand makeups that i personally use as well so it's not just like fancy bobby brown dior there were a lot of affordable brands that you could just get anywhere as well the first person that comes in is not the makeup artist she is the assistant and she's going to be doing the base makeup for about 30 40 minutes and then the makeup artist comes in to do the eyes the picture that I showed was this. I've never done makeup like this, you guys. You guys know <laughs> what kind of makeup style that I went for. Obviously, I've changed. I've gotten older and I like more sophisticated, clean, natural looks. This is also the hair that I'm going for. I know, you guys, I'm so different. Look at me like drinking wine. I just want to go for that wealthy, sophisticated, <laughs> elegant look now. And if you want to fancy up your own lifestyle, you could get wine delivered to your house with Bright Cellar. I'm not into really alcoholy drinks and I really like sweet and dessert wine. So I just took a seven question quiz to match what kind of wine that I would like. With your curated wine being delivered to your house, they also give you these cards so that you can learn about what kind of wine that you got. I also learned that I'm more of a white wine girl than red wine. And this one is Gladius. This one has lychee, cantaloupe, grapefruit, and rose. It also shows you what kind of pairings. I made my own cheese board also. It also makes the perfect gift. So if you don't know what to buy someone, getting them a gift of wine is also great as well. And I should learn more about wine if I do want to go out, business parties, and people drink wine and like, expensive drinks and I was like why not learn about it there is a limited offer for my followers $50 off your first six bottle box click the link down in the description and it really helps me to continue growing my channel YouTube algorithm has really been hard on especially this channel as well crazy grace so just by clicking on today's partner liking the video subscribing really all helps thank you so much to bright sellers and let's get back to the video so step one is basic skincare they actually do toner for you and apply some creams and I really like how they do basic skincare care before the makeup because it really does hydrate your skin and it really just makes the makeup go on to the skin nicely and you have a glowing skin at the end instead of making your skin look deserty and dry if you're okay with it they will also trim your eyebrows as well straight eyebrows also give you that youthful look it seems like the shaped eyebrows kind of make you a little bit more stronger edgier a bit more aging sometimes now it's time for the foundation and this part literally is art because foundation alone literally took like 30 minutes Minutes. They use a liquid foundation and concealers. They don't use like cushion foundation. And you can see the type of brush that they use to apply. They also always use the sponge and it allows the foundation to really soak into your skin instead of making it look again like you have foundation on. It has to look natural in Korea. She applied the second layer of foundation and kept dabbing with the sponge. But there's a reason why celebrities and if you go get your makeup done, it looks flawless because they take their time and go through every single blemish that you might have every single pore. She goes in with concealer and tiny skinny brush right here. But as you can see, even after thick foundation, it still looks really natural. <laughs> Then the assistant does the first round of eyelash lifting here. They do this like literally five times throughout the whole session. They really care about the eyelashes. Then they use a pot gel liner here or a liquid liner and she goes in with like a special brush and they literally applied on the water line or so close to the lash line. I've never really done such a thin line before but I ended up loving the results. Then the assistant applies the false lashes here. 
I don't know what brand of lashes that they use, but it definitely wasn't those cheap plastic looking ones. It was ones that actually really look like your eye eyelashes, but they were cut into little pieces and they apply one by one. Again, this step alone took like 10, 15 minutes. After the base, the main makeup artist comes in and this is when she starts doing the eyeshadows. I was surprised here because they do the eyeliner before they do the eyeshadow. The picture I gave her was a really natural makeup and it seems like she was applying a very slight coralish subtle brown kind of color. And looking at it from the camera, I actually really love how subtle and beautiful it looks, this color. Now this is the part where it seems like every single Korean girl is doing, which is the Egyosal makeup. Egyosal means like the cute little under eye bag. It makes you look youthful young so she's adding like a slight light 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 almost like your color but a little toned down eyeshadow underneath the eye to create that baby like fat the shadow <laughs> Then she uses like a color that's about shade of my skin with a hint of pink for the highlighted look just above that shadow she created. I've never ever done this kind of makeup before and when I saw myself, I was like, I'm liking this. And then it was time for the lashes again. They're using two wooden sticks and like lighting up with a little tiny bit like a cigarette match and she uses two curl eyelashes. This like solidifies and like secures your lashes all day until you take it off. Of course, this should be done by a professional. Don't try this at home because it can be hot in your eye. And here's a great tip. I saw the makeup artist using the point, the tip of the mascara. And I tried this at home and this actually allows the curl to stay up a lot better and applies the mascara in a more evenly way, like one by one. The lashes, when I saw these lashes, it literally looks so freaking amazing. Then she also added a very subtle glitter, nothing crazy, nothing even too noticeable, just there to kind of like highlight the look a little bit. And here's a close up, but you could definitely see the egg style a little better. As you could see, this makeup style has already like brightened up my eyes and my overall kind of vibe. This was also interesting. The eyebrows are also cleaned up by using a brush and not just a brow pencil, which is how you get that natural, like fluffy eyebrows instead of like a shape cut eyebrows. And they apply a very, very, very little bit of face powder just to set the makeup and make sure it doesn't look oily. Unlike Western makeup or American makeup, there is no baking in Korea. I personally tried baking style and oh my God, it literally makes your face look like desert. For the blush, she put a very bright pink. And again, at first I was a little worried because I didn't know if I would like style pink really well because I thought it would just look kind of like Barbie makeup. The more that I looked and what she did and blended it out, I actually really really liked it. A baby pink just kind of really went well with my eyeshadow color and my overall vibe. It also gave you that youthful bright image as well. But she used a sponge to also apply the blush. And what this did was create a concentration to like a certain point, like right here would be the strongest pink color and then she would just blend it out. Again, it doesn't look like just blush. It looks like a nice gradation. Time for the lips and she is applying with a brush the exact color of my natural lips. So in the West, the trend is to use literally a lip liner, but in Korea, they use a blush to fluff it out so it just looks natural. So it doesn't look like your lips are kind of like cut into shape like your eyebrows. Then again, I was worried at first. It seemed like she was using a stronger red lip and I never applied your red before because I think it just makes you like lips just pop. So I don't really like those colors. She also started doing a slight gradation on the lips again something that I've never done before but trust the process and I did and I started to love this red tone on my skin especially with the gradation the red color didn't like pop pop gave that very sophisticated elegant look to really end the makeup if that makes sense then she asked if there's anything you want to change about the makeup and I asked for a little bit more glitter so it seems like she was using a liquid glitter with her brush then she does the finishing touches and literally no dust is left on your face they're so thorough with this
And this was the final look to the makeup. I was so shocked, but just by changing the style of your makeup can change your whole entire vibe and even your face shape and eye shape. So what do you guys think about the makeup? I honestly was digging this look. All right, it is time for the hair. This is the photo that I gave her with the hair. I've done waves a lot at the salon before, so I really want to go for the updo elegant look. So first, she started to volumize the roots first. By lifting the roots, it really helped to shape your overall face and the hair line as well to make it look naturally and flowy. She's also using a thin comb right here to use a point to pull out the hair after she tied it to create that natural volume. Then the ends are braided and she twisted into a bun and stuck a lot of pins to secure it. I also asked for a little bit of that baby hair look, which is very trending and hot these days. So she took some of the hair out and started to cut a little bit. Then she's curling it a little bit and adding some styling wax to make them stick to create like a big three hair sections. But again, trying this like side hair, baby hair trend, I really liked it on me, but I think it looks pretty good. And here's a shot from the back. It literally looks like a rose. And here is the complete transformation. Honestly, I couldn't even recognize myself. The glitter, you guys, the lashes, the color, I think everything just fits so perfectly. The lips, again, just looks natural. It doesn't look harshly overlined. I love the color. And overall, my rating, honestly, I say 9.9 .9 or close to 10 out of 10 that I loved this look. It's actually very hard to go to Korean shops and love every single makeup that you get because sometimes you don't know if that makeup artist is going to suit you. But this was one of the rare times when I actually loved the makeup that I got. The whole process also took about two hours. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours. So you need enough time if you do want to go and do this. The price comes to be at this salon, which I don't think it's much of a difference if you go somewhere else. It was only 55,000 won. Again, this is for just a basic one. So if you're going to wedding, I believe the wedding might be a little bit more expensive. This honestly in America, America would be like $250, you guys. But I ended up paying 2 months to 77,001 because I asked them to come at 9 a.m. Apparently the shop makeup thing starts around 12 p.m. And 9 a.m. was like the only time that I had that day. But they will come if you pay about 21,000 more. Problem with like Western country, especially America, when it comes to beauty, it is so expensive. So people go like once, maybe every couple of years for like a special event. But in Korea or maybe other parts of Asia, you could get these done with without breaking your bank. All right, so I found some products that you guys could use at home. I bought these, especially after I went to the salon so that I can recreate this at home. Number one, the most important, there is an Egyosal underliner. So this one is two-sided and one side is actually the Egyosal shadow liner. I'm using this right now. I know maybe it's not like exactly to what she did. Other side, it is the brighter one. So you apply it in the corner of your eye. And I found just using this, it makes the Egyosal really easy to create at home. I also found this one again purposely for the Egyosai, the brighter part. This one has a pinkish glow to it, almost like what they did at the salon. And then I got this brush, which is an angled brush for the eyeliner. I still cannot really 100% do that really thin, like perfect eyeliner she did. I'm trying to perfect it. These are professionals, by the way, that literally took an hour and a half just to do the makeup, so don't be too harsh on yourself. I'm wearing this right now. Again, it is that red tone, but it is subtle and you could build it up to make that gradation look. It also makes your lips dewy. I hate matte lips. I always have to have dewy, glossy lips. So this color is very similar to how I got it done at the salon. And then I apply a lip gloss over it, a glitter lip gloss to make my lips just look hydrated. After me falling in love with the pink blush, I immediately got a bright pink color, but not Barbie pink. This is like a very natural light pink color. But if you are a celebrity, from what I remember, they actually give you about like a heavy discount. It was, it was like almost 50 to like 70% discount for celebrities because they can use it to also promote their shop as well. If you guys enjoyed this video and learned something, remember just by hitting the like button, subscribing really helps and changes the algorithm.